Hi everyone, this latest build in my workshop is going to be a quick and dirty rough as guts wine rack. Um, I've had these off cuts of Merbauer decking for a year or so and haven't really known what to do with them. They came from a neighbour's decking project and he was throwing them out. They were just there ready to go in the bin so I scooped them up and thought, I don't know, it's a shame to see relatively good wood just being wasted. Now of course these are all uh, finger jointed uh, pieces which uh, basically longer pieces made up from a whole lot of shorter ones but because this wine rack will be in a private place with no public viewing and is just really there to uh, take the overspill of uh, my wines then I'm prepared for it to look rough one of the great advantages of this is that the wood is already pre-oiled so therefore there'll be no uh, staining and no sanding because it's relatively smooth, got nice rounded corners and therefore I think it can be a pretty quick build. I've made myself a rough plan based on the size of the bottles I have and uh, it's going to be just a square matrix of spaces which each of the bottles will slide into like this resting on some cross members of the Merbau and even though wine bottles with their screw caps don't really need to be uh, laid down these days that's still the most efficient and space effective way to store wine so basically the uh, cross members will be placed like that, the wine will sit between them and they'll be stacked two and three high like that. Uh, it should become quite a, a space efficient way to store them. I've worked out <clears throat> that I will need uh, 44 pieces of the Merbau at about 150 in length and then I will need 22 pieces at around 400 in length. I've designed it to basically take up most of the scrap that I have here and um, now we just have to get to the cutting. All right, so having cut all of the <clears throat> pieces to length, I'm going to have these running in between, sort of in that fashion. So the bottles will run this way between pairs of racks. So I need to rebate out in each position so that the cross member can slot into the leg like that and I'll probably make it about half the depth
So, having cut all of the uprights, I can now turn my attention to slotting the pieces together. to form the, the channels for the wine bottles to slide into. And then I have to turn my attention to screwing the tops to the bottoms for each strut. So now it's a matter of just drilling and countersinking holes through the uprights into the slots that I've already cut and just using a, a clamped piece here to help me center each cut, each drill. Now to screw the uprights and the crossbars together, I've made a simple jig which will hold them square and straight and centred while the screws are put in. Now having made up my 11 dividers where the bottles will fit in, I need to put some cross members in to join them all together. So I'll have two across the base and one across the back at least, <coughs> probably with some diagonal bracing. So I've pre-drilled a couple of cross braces, this one for the front, this one for the back. Now I just need to screw them all into place. <laughs> 